So now our first baseball game of the season, and we bring on a couple of ringers. A couple of ringers. First off, star of the Balking Dead who's been so excited about the opportunity to him and what a season he had last year. Absolutely spectacular. The big black book back in business. Usually we'd be talking about him in the warm climate of California, but he has moved to Tennessee. It's cold in Tennessee. Please welcome our friend Sharpie to the show. Sharpie, how are you? Balls yeah. cold, bro. Balls cold out here. I got three layers on each way though, bro. And, uh, you know, we're, we're still related to Moby Dick, so whale hunting's got to get happening in the cold. It has to happen. It has to happen. It's nice to see you again, Sharpie. And let's bring on another ringer, star of Say Hey Plays of the Day. You're going to see him capping baseball every single day here on Pub Sports Radio, and he's here to rock right now. Please welcome San Antonio's finest, our friend Jose Sweet Tea Tits Bouquet. Jose, how are you? Doing well. Uh, it's nice to see you guys. Uh, Pete, do you have anything to say to, to Sharpie? Because this is the first time I think you guys are on screen since the incident, Pete. No, uh, not much. No, no. Bro, it's life. Y'all freaking make, make like, little things. <laughs> no, it's great to see you, Sharpie. It's great to fucking see. Are you, is he going to, are you going to Pugalooza? <laughs> nah, man. I'm uh, I'm trying to get to the Kentucky Derby, though, since it ain't too far from there. So I'm going to try to get out there right in like a month. Oh, yeah, All right. Man. Well, Magic. I, I, I got I got to really start tuning into the freaking Balkan Dead every freaking day because last last year that was just leaving money on the table. Anyone who didn't do that. Very, very impressive, Sharpie. Thank you. Thank you. But at least you trusted me in the playoffs. You're like, I don't even cap baseball. I'm just betting Sharpie's bets. We're doing. Of course, all right. I trust you. <laughs> the problem isn't trust. The problem is time. Fucking life. The fucking people are like, oh, life goes by so fast. No, days go by so fast. Like, oh, damn it. It's 830. I missed the freaking Bach and dead and half the games have already started. Ooh. I'm going to make an effort, though, this year to catch every freaking episode, either live or taped. Appreciate it. The first game of our young season sees you, Darvish. And Tyler Glass now going head to head. Let me just set the lines up and then Jose Bouquet will take over. This line opened up with the Dodgers at minus 187. They're now at minus 196. Had a nine cent move there from a total side of things here. And again, we need to talk about this stadium and parameters. This total sitting at nine right now at Pinnacle. Opened up at eight and a half. Got up to nine at 8.20 this morning. And it has stayed there. It's minus 115 to the under, but it's a nine here. Uh, my bookie hanging a nine. Will Hill hanging an eight and a half. And then the rest of the books offshore are hanging eight and a half. And then when we get over to the cash flow, for this first game of the young season, we have no help. We have 5,578 yeah. tickets and no help. But we do have help on the total. On the total, we have 82% of the tickets on the over and 97% of the cash on that over. Jose, take it away and host, uh, take over hosting duties for the Korea series in South Korea that starts off the MLB season. Yeah, so I've watched this line basically like the entire show, and it's been, you know, steadily climbing up. We're seeing some minus 200 nows, uh, which is interesting. I, you know, I think the Dodgers should be faded. I, you know, not in the sense that they're a bad team, but in the sense of that these prices are probably just inflated because they're the Dodgers. They've got all these fucking people, and they're going to be great. Uh, but I'm, I'm a guy of the mindset of the Dodgers will disappoint in the fact that they'll go under their win total, which is like 103 wins, I think, which is crazy. But I mean, it, it's the Dodgers, so I wouldn't be surprised at all if they still got it. But I, I think that personally, this Dodgers team will lose in the playoffs again, and then they'll fire Dave Roberts, even though that he's Otani's contract and all that shit, and then they'll just hire Alex Cora and break my soul. Um, that's what I think will happen. I don't think it will be an interesting series, but season, I should say. But Glass now healthy. For now, we all know what he does. I, I looked at his last three starts and you know, obviously his spring training, but his last two, especially three innings, no hits, five Ks, one walk. Uh, the one before that, five and a third, no hits, eight Ks. And that was spring training. So obviously take it with a grain of salt. But 
He's been pitching well as of late. Darvish, I think he'll be right at home. He'll. This is, you know, obviously it's Korea, not Japan, but uh, I think he's been in this atmosphere and environment plenty of times over there. So uh, I honestly was leaning first five under here. And, and Sharpie, we'll talk about you're the, the spring training Don. I know you, you're always betting spring training games and keeping an eye on these teams, and especially since it's the Dodgers and Padres. So I'm leaning first five under here, but I want to hear what you have to say about this game, Sharpie. Um, I'm laughing at all these over betters, bro. I mean, if you they watch the Dodgers and the Padres beat up on Korean pitching, Jimmy, can you tell <laughs> me how many Korean pitchers are in the MLB? Um, I miss our old friend number ninety nine. He's the uh, only one still on an active. Like they have his active, bro. Is no, he's gone. Group, he's bro. gone. He's in Korea. Okay, this year. so yeah. yeah, they're cooked, bro. They have no starting pitching, so they're beating up on bombs, bro. Like. Wait until Darvish gets in that, uh, and now you got to take real live pitching after just beating up on kids that don't belong out there? That, to me, is a joke. Darvish has owned my Dodgers forever. Yep. Um, 13 games in his career, has a 2.57 ERA. His last five games versus the Dodgers, it gets better. 2.27 ERA with going six innings or more in every damn start. Taking the fact he was hurt last year, guys. He's not hurt. He's healthy. They're saying no restrictions on him this year, and he's looked good. He went 4.1 innings with one and run in his last start in spring training. He owns this team other than Freddie Freeman, and then we get Tyler Glass now. That's where I'm on the other side of you, Jose, is this ain't the Dodgers' year to choke. We've not had starting pitching. We've gotten to the playoffs every year off of fucking Clayton Kershaw and so and so and so. No one, no, now we got Glass now, Yamamoto at the front. Dude's throwing 97 plus. You need to have flamethrowers in the playoffs. Strikeouts and home runs win you games. And uh, we went and got one of the better strikeout pitchers in the game. And there's only been one guy on this team who's even seen Glass now. And they should sit Bogerts with those putrid ass numbers he has versus him. So, um, big advantage glass now, first time through the lineup. I'm on that first three under two and a half at minus 105. And I'm on the wow. first five under four and a half um, at minus 110. I both on MGM. That's where I'm betting on right now. Um, I don't, I just think one of these guys needs to be on for that four and a half, let alone if both. I think this is off by a run. When are we getting an eight and a half, nine with Glass now and Darvish? Because they're in Korea, beating up on Korean pitchers the last few days. Now, if you're going to bet the Dodgers, I'll say this. They've won 14 games in spring training. They've won every game by two runs or more. You either run line them and just let it go, or you bet the other side. There is no if ands, or buts right now. I believe a couple years back, it hit 84% that way with the Dodgers. It's going to be like that again this year. When they win, they're going to win. I can't wait. It's going to be a fun game, and I'm glad that we're both on the unders. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. I loved when he said well. everyone was on the over, bro. I was going to panic yeah. if he said everyone was on the under. Like, don't, don't do that. Go move the way you should. Bet the over like a bunch of yuppies and let me cash these unders. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> and so, Jose, is this your first say, hey, play the official action? Yeah, no, I'm on it as well. Four and a half, minus 105, basically the same line as well. First five. As well, I also uh, shout out to Mike M, and this is my, you know, this is my old self uh, creeping into it. I was interested in a, in a Hassan Kim RBI prop just for the, you know, he's Korean, obviously. It's plus two ten. Shout out to Mike. I considered it. Probably not going to move on it. Uh, why am I not going to move on it? Uh, I had again. I took my like resume of all my records for what I do well and what I do poorly. Uh, props. Uh, a whopping minus 30 units in two years. So I'm not betting props. No, thank you. I'm good. Uh, so I'll, I'll just look at that RBI prop, think about it, and not jot it down. If I start hitting them, maybe I'll bet them, but no thanks. Important note that Jose said he went over exactly every single angle over the last two years that he's bet and went over what has succeeded and what has not. And it's crucial. Everybody yeah, needs it was to disgusting that. looking at the numbers for some of them, but yeah. And what was your best angle for people who are interested? Yeah, uh, well, Mike will rejoice in the chat. It was uh, team totals, uh, of course. You know, Mike, uh, not flush Allen. Uh, he always, uh, you know, celebrating all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, 20 units in two years uh, up 
So uh, that's, you know, I looked at that. By the way, and full game totals as well uh, was also my best thing there. Uh, first fives, I was up 1.3 units in two years. So, you know, kind of, you know, negative, I guess. But yeah, I, uh, I, I looked at uh, my best thing here with the uh, team totals as well. And if I had to play it, uh, I'd probably stick with the Dodgers, but I, I think the game's going under, so it didn't really make sense. Uh, I, I shout out to one of the Earl brothers. I forget which one. Now. I think it was Nick. Uh, I saw him. He's going to play uh, Padres team total over three minus 120. Don't hate that as well. But I will say there's a, a lovely little uh, website that has the uh, records for your best uh, team total teams from last year. Of course, your best team total over team last year. The Dodgers, 95 and 68, up 15 units. Right behind them, Pete, I know you love betting this team. The Washington Nationals, 92 and 67, up 15.14 units last year. Wow. 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 So. Well, great stuff. So we have Sharpie on the first three under two and a half and the first five under four and a half. Jose, first five under four and a half. Sharpie, do you have the juice for your action? Minus 105 on the first three, 110 on the first five. Minus one and we have our first official action pistol pete after hearing that is there a move you want to make are you gonna wait 605 a.m it pops off so we have the first game of major league baseball going off in 16 hours well i mean i already i already while you guys are talking i already tailed the first three and first five unders i'm not gonna be a dick and add that to my official record and be like look at what a great capper i am definitely tailed them though well, there you have it. Yeah, I'm interested no. uh, in joining the fellows as well. Uh, Sharpie, let everybody in the chat know where they can find you on X, my friend. If you don't know where to find me, just keep it that way, guys. I'm not that guy that's going <laughs> to talk to you. I'm not going to be friendly to you. But if you follow me, I'll give you fucking winners, bro, because that's what I do. Have a good it. one, guys. Thanks for joining us. There he is, Sharpie in the house.